Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Join hope you're ready for another exciting tutorial. This tutorial is ded dedicated to all you soccer moms out there that want to create your own little vinyl stick figures or whatever to slap on the back of your vehicle. And uh, you can do it all with Inkscape and Scal. Inkscape is free, of course, inkscape.org. Uh, you can go ahead and download that, Mac or PC. And uh, Scal can be purchased through scrappydo.com uh, slash Scal if you'd like to order Scal. So, right, so let's go ahead and uh, show you how this is going to be created. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring up a brand new. Uh, Inkscape. Uh, the, the first thing that we need to do is uh, I'm going to bring up this stroke and fill. So I'm going to hit Control Shift F to bring that up, and uh, as you can see, it just popped up right here. All right, I'm going to start off with the head. That's a, just a basic old circle. I'm going to go ahead and click and hold the Control button down, and uh, to get us our circle. A couple things to, to set up. I'm going to have the fill set to none. Uh, the, the stroke uh, right here. I'm going to set to uh, a flat color. It uh, doesn't matter what color, that's just to help us see what's going on. And uh, the stroke, I want to go ahead and set that to uh, 11 pixels. So all right, so once we have that set, we can go uh, draw the neck. That's what I'll do next. I'm going to use the Bezier tool right here. And I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in here so we can see what's going on. And uh, give us a little better better look. So I'm going to use that Bezier tool. I'm just going to click uh, click anywhere right around here in the circle. We're going to line things up a little later. I'm going to hold the control button down so it's a nice and straight line and I'm going to give it a right click so we can end it. Now to uh, to see what uh, what that's going to look like, I'm going to change that to, uh, to 11 as well and I'm going to give it uh, rounded corners and edges just so it looks uh, looks a little smoother. And uh, the next part is the the arms and legs, and I think the easiest way to uh, to go about that would be is to duplicate the circle. I'm just going to hit uh, Control D to duplicate. I'm going to bring it out here, and I'm going to go to Path, uh, Object to Path. So it's a nice path. I'm going to get this node editor right here. So we're going to edit some nodes, and I'm just going to uh, edit those two. So I'm just so all I did is I clicked and held the drag and just so that uh, those two nodes are highlighted and we're going to uh, to break them apart so we're going to select this right here break break path of selected nodes and click that and then we can go to path break apart and that will give us our our arms and legs and while, while I have this uh, selected I'm going to uh, to stretch them out a little and uh, just make them a little bigger than that circle and this right here is going to go down at the bottom. This right here is going to go towards the middle. And as you can see, our stick figure is shaping up quite nicely. And uh, now we're going to align things. And to uh, to do that, I'm going to go to um, Object, Align, and Distribute. And I'm going to select everything, hit Control A to select everything and I'm going to go ahead and align everything uh, center horizontal and that will line everything up, thing up pretty nicely. Alright, so once we have that set up uh, we, we need to, uh, to get out of here and I'm going to change this down to pixel, so PX and then I'm going to change this to 11 and I'm going to make the ends nice and round and uh, if that's not the correct thickness you'd like, of course you can always, always uh, thicken everything up um, you know th that may look good for you so we'll, we'll just leave it at that and then we're going to go to path and then we're going to go to uh, stroke to path that will that will convert all these uh, these paths to a nice stroke and then we're going to go to path union and that will join everything together uh, so it's it's nice and perfect and if you want to see what uh, what that would actually look like if we didn't do that. I'm going to go ahead and undo what I did. Um, select everything again and I'm going to go ahead and change my view mode, display mode, and go to uh, outline view because this is what your cricket's going to see and if you if you uh, 
if you look look real close, your Cricut's actually going to cut that. So I'm going to go ahead and select everything again. And I'm going to go to Path Union. And as soon as I do that, you're going to see those uh, those inside lines disappear. So uh, so there's no break in the pieces. So that's why we, we went ahead and did that. So all right, so I'm going to go ahead and back out of that. I'm going to go back to... Uh, to the view display mode uh, normal just so we can see what's going on and for the eyes all it is is, is just a base, basic uh, you know circle ellipse you know whatever you'd like and uh, you can go to stroke no stroke fill uh, give us a give us a solid black color and we can go to path object to path and we can grow and shrink this so you can uh, see what you would like you know once once you have one one eye like the way you want, you're going to go ahead and hit Control D to duplicate it and uh, drag it over. Now for the eyebrows, uh, all I did is before, just like we drew the drew the neck, I used the Bezier tool and just did a did a straight line to start out with. All right, and uh, just go ahead and hold the Control button down, then right click to give us th that eyebrow, and for the uh, for the stroke we did that and for this we we increased it and then we can go ahead and zoom in uh, zoom in here so we can uh, so we can see what's going on zoom in and I'm gonna get this node editor tool again and just push that line up and then we can go ahead and go to path uh, stroke to path and that will give us the nice eyebrow and we can duplicate that of course and go ahead and drag that drag that on over and if you if you like you can even flip them so uh, so it looks symmetrically just use the little flip tool and then f for the mouth we just we just did the same thing uh, the, the bezier tool uh, you can just click and uh, you know start off with a little mean little frown and do a right click and use the node node editor tool and you can push pull give them a smile uh, change this pixel you know give it 6 11 doesn't matter whatever whatever size works for you and go ahead and go to path uh, stroke to path and everything will would and should look good so let's go ahead and zoom out and that is the basic stick figure on how to create it uh, just using the stroke to path and path union and uh, just using the simple shapes in order to create the figure that you like. So with that, I'm Rob with Scrappy Doo.